Hello everyone, I'm, you've reached a video that I'm going to teach you how to um, tin your soldering iron. Um, all I went and uh, done is gotten a new tip on my soldering iron. Um, you have to keep this cold of course before you do this because you don't want your tip to oxidize or anything before um, you actually tin it. Um, the tin, when you tin it, it helps the transfer of the heat to where you want it to put it uh, for it to go on your LED pads or whatever you're going to solder. To do this, I went ahead and wrapped the tip with um, my soldering um, flux wire. I got the really, really thin um, kind of wire just because it melts a lot quicker and it spreads more evenly. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this um, and then I'm going to place it on this flat uh, horizontal type um, holder, whatever you want to call it. You don't want to put it in this type of holder because um, the solder is just going to fall off your iron. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and see how it goes. Of course you want to keep your soldering iron on a, on a um, place where you don't care about solder to fall on like this workbench or whatever you want to use and just make sure you wear safety glasses and if you are not used to the smoke from solder and stuff like that maybe you can wear a mask or some sort of stuff to cover your face. So it's pretty much a waiting game from here. Um, this way you can ensure that the solder is going to melt at the right temperature and then actually tin it. Um, there are other method methods of doing this but I found this the easiest way to do it. Yeah, you're just going to have to wait until this heats up and I can show you the end result. Okay, it's starting to melt. And there we go, my soldering iron is fully tinned, just like that. It's going to have some excess that you can just flick off, and then you're going to have a fully tinned soldering iron, just perfect. And there you go.